Fiona the Flamingo, written by Rachel Chu, illustrated by Kate Jeffrey, published by Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream Publishing. Thank you for letting me share your wonderful book. If you haven't already, please subscribe on a beautiful sunny afternoon where life was simply the best. A little flamingo named Fiona hatched from her egg in a nest. Little Fiona grew up making lots of friends. They played flamingo games from day's start to day's end. He looks like the flamingos are chasing butterflies, or at least looking around at them, all happy. As the time passed, all the birds became stronger. They also got pinker, and their feathers grew longer. They turned pinker and pinker with each feather they grew. They got bigger and bigger until some of them flew. Fiona remained featherless until it happened one night. She woke up with feathers, but they were bright white. The other flamingos gasped and they stared at her in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing and wildly began to squawk. It kind of seems like the other flamingos are being a bit mean to her. They're not being very accepting that she's different. And it sort of looks like this one's giving her a dirty look and making her feel bad. That is very unkind of the others, you know. Her friends looked at the white feathers, not knowing what to think. You're not the right color. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Mm, she's looking sad. Poor Fiona. With everyone shouting, Fiona began to get scared. She looked at her feathers, and then she looked at theirs. So right now, Fiona is comparing herself to others, and then she's feeling bad about herself because she's a little bit different. You don't have to be so loud, and please don't make a scene. That's when Fiona's friend started shaking and her feathers turned to green. When her friends saw the change, they squawked louder and meaner. Fiona got more anxious, and her feathers grew greener. Her friends looked at the green feathers, not knowing what to think. Stop being so silly, Fiona. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Oh no, said Fiona. This is worse than just bad. But her friends kept on squawking. And then Fiona got mad. You know what? I would feel mad too. These others are supposed to be Fiona's friends. And instead of being kind and understanding, they are giving her a hard time because she looks different. That is not the way friends behave. You're making me angry! She jumped up furiously and said, that's when Fiona started yelling and her feathers turned to red. The flock became silent, hoping things would get better, but Fiona got madder and her feathers grew redder. Her friends looked at the red feathers, not knowing what to think. Don't you think you should calm down now? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. You know, I think it's pretty rude of those friends to tell her to calm down after they were the ones being mean. They were mean. They made fun of her. They gave her a hard time. And then they're like, calm down, Fiona. Don't you think you should just calm down? I think that they should apologize. They should say, I'm sorry. You know what, Fiona? You are wonderful just the way you are. Instead, they're giving her a hard time and then telling her to calm down. That just doesn't seem right to me. They all rushed to hug her, and now Fiona felt bad. Her anger was fading, but now she felt sad. Okay, good. So the friends are actually behaving like friends now. They turned it around, and they gave her a hug. That's, that's, that's a good way to handle something. When somebody's having a hard time, offer a hug. Or say, how can I help? So it's okay to make mistakes. Her friends made a mistake, but they, they wanted to give her a hug. They... They're being nice now. That's good. She whimpered and cried. I'm all mixed up in hue. That's when Fiona started sobbing and her feathers turned to blue. So right here it says, I'm all mixed up in hue. It means she's all different colors. 
A hue can be like a color or a shade of color. The flock watched from afar, and their concerns grew truer. But Fiona just got sadder, and her feathers grew bluer. Her friends looked at her blue feathers, not knowing what to think. Just what kind of bird are you? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. No one could cheer her up, so instead they stayed away. That's when Fiona got lonely and her feathers turned to gray. Poor Fiona. She just needs a friend. A young chick floated up with a gaze so pure and true. I hope my feathers change colors when I'm as big as you. Fiona flashed a happy smile and her feathers erupted in color. It was a surprise to everyone. No feather was like any other. Pink, white, and green, red, blue, and gray. She was every single color now. And that's the way she'd stay. The entire flock gathered around and Fiona gave a big wink. I guess we've all learned a lesson. Flamingos don't have to be pink. Fiona Flamingo, wasn't that a cute story? I especially liked how in the end, Fiona accepted herself and that she was different and she could see how beautiful and wonderful she was. The little birdie in the story that wanted to grow up and be like her, I think helped Fiona to see how wonderful and beautiful she was and that her differences were a good thing. If you are different, remember that it's a good thing and it's wonderful and beautiful. And if you have a friend that's different, accept them. Don't make them feel bad about it. Let them know that you think they're wonderful because you are and they are. In the next video, I am going to read the tale of the Trollger. Exciting. If you haven't already, give this video a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Links below if you want to find more about this book. Bye.